Hey, today we're here from BlenderAuthority.com and we're going to review Nutribullet's new combo full-size blender. This is the model that comes with the extra uh, to-go cups and um, this is the first full-size blender from Nutribullet so we're very interested to see how it performs. We've been a long-time user of their Nutribullet bullet blenders. What you get when you open up the box is you get their main base uh, system. It comes with their large 64 ounce pitcher. There is a blade integrated into the pitcher so you cannot uh, separate it. It does have a removable lid. It has a spout that comes out which is nice and convenient if you want to add ingredients while blending. Or it also now comes with a tamper. This is the first model to use a tamper from Nutribullet. That's nice for uh, mixing or blending thick ingredients where you want to move the ingredients down to the blade. Also comes with this blender is you have the 24 ounce cup and the 32 ounce cup. The 32 ounce cup is similar to their Colossal cup, which is a popular size with their other bullet blenders. Each one has a to-go lid. And then this is their new extractor blade. If you're familiar with Nutribullet, you can see that this is definitely a new blade design. And uh, one thing with the new blade design that this blender does not work with is dry ingredients. They specifically say in the instruction manual to not blend dry ingredients. So the way we're gonna do this video, we're gonna co cover some of the basic usage tips, cover some common questions that people have when they first get introduced to this blender. And then we'll come back and do some of the recipes that it goes over in the book. Um, so control wise, you have some simple controls. You have the on off button. You have extract for blending like smoothies, uh, the low buttons for doing lighter blending like batters, gravies, marinades. You have the medium button that's for doing something like soups or dips. Maybe if you want to grind nuts or blend sauces or do milkshakes, mixed drinks. And then you have the high button. That's where you really want to purify or liquefy something, especially if you have a thicker recipe, like a thick mixture or blending like frozen fruit where it needs that extra time. And then you have the pulse for doing these basic food prep and chopping. Um, for usage wise, if you hit the extract button, it'll just blend until done. It's on a timed program. That's great for hands free blending. Um, the other ones, you just have to stop it manually when you're done blending the ingredients. If you use any of these speeds with the extractor blade and the smaller to go cups, uh, the blender will shut off after 60 seconds to prevent overheating and over blending. Um, you can do hot ingredients with the pitcher. It does have an exhaust vent, which is definitely necessary if you're blending any hot ingredients. Um, like any bullet blenders with the small cups and they're sealed onto the blade, you cannot blend any hot liquids because it'll uh, create pressure and create a danger for any of the users. So one other thing I get a common question is, can you use the Nutribullet combo for blending ice? They recommend it is not an ice crushing blender. You're only allowed to maybe add about 25% of the ingredients being ice and you do need to use liquid with it. So that is an issue if you're wanting to do like nut butters, you're going to have to use oils with the nuts because it recommends not blending dry ingredients with these type of blades. And um, ease of use wise, it's, it's quite easy. This is a new uh, base system for Nutribullet. So none of the prior Nutribullet accessories will work with this blender, unfortunately. And that goes the same with these to-go cups. This new blade design, the, the threading's on the inside here, and it's got a new lip. So you can't use any of your old Nutribullet accessories with this blender. And um, maintenance-wise, it is dishwasher friendly. Um, you can put it in the top rack. It says not to use the high heat sanitize function with washing these um, containers. The one thing I wouldn't recommend personally is sticking this pitcher in a dishwasher because of the blade design. I wouldn't stick blades in the dishwasher. If you want to clean the pitcher, you just add a little soap, um, add some liquid and just like hit extract button. It'll blend it up real well and break up any dried ingredients on the pitcher and just clean it out. All right, so here we are with, um, this is the first recipe in their book. This is called Nutribullet's Essential Green Smoothie. It makes four servings. This is a good recipe we thought to test out the capabilities of this blender because it does include some difficult ingredients. We tweaked the recipe just slightly by adding a little more difficult ingredients like kale. But this is the order that you would add ingredients when using the pitcher. It's reversed when you're using the um, Nutribullet to go cups. But we have four cups of spinach. I use three cups of spinach and 
about a cup of kale. We have uh, four small bananas. We have a cup and a half of coconut milk. They recommend using vanilla almond milk. Um, they had a quarter cup of peanut butter. I did actually a quarter cup of just raw peanuts to see how well it blends up the peanuts. And then it recommends two cups of plain uh, non-fat Greek yogurt. We ended up using vanilla yogurt because we didn't use vanilla almond milk. And then uh, we put in two cups of ice cubes on the top and some raw flax seeds. So this is not ground flax seeds. So it's a pretty good test of ingredients. So you just add the ingredients in, in the order I listed there. It shows them in the recipes. Throw the lid on. Lock the container in. You hit on, and then we'll just hit extract, and it'll be done. Let's see what the result is. So that's it for the blending cycle. You can see the extract button stop. So the big test is, let's see how well it blended. Some of those ingredients like kale, the nuts, the ice cubes can have some difficulty getting a proper blending consistency with other blenders. This is pretty well blended. You can see when it uses the extract button, it fluctuates the speeds, it pulses it to bring the ingredients down at the beginning, and then it does a high speed to evenly puree it. You can also see the way it was moving inside the container. It does a pretty good job of it pulling it down into a vortex in the middle. Let's see, we're just gonna pour it out. Well, you can see that, but that is really smooth. I'm gonna try it through a typical strainer just to see if there's any particles in it. That is pretty impressive so I'd say it definitely does quite well with smoothies and even in comparison to some other high-speed blenders like a Vitamix or Blendtec that's pretty good you can see the leftover in the bottom is evenly blended very fine so I'd say that did a pretty good job I'm pretty impressed um, we'll stop it there and come back with another recipe all right, we're back for round two. This is now we're gonna use the extractor. This is with the 32 ounce cup. I was really curious to see how this new extractor blade design worked. I've probably done, oh, I, I'm not exaggerating, a thousand uses with various Nutribullet uh, bullet blenders with their traditional extractor blade. So I'm pretty familiar with the results I get with the older blade. I'm really curious to see this new blade. You can see the base internally it's the same drive system, and the blade design, though, is different. This is going to be with their Immunity Boost Smoothie. This is directly from the recipe book. And this is a half an orange, half a cup carrots, half a cup of frozen mango chunks. We have a cup of coconut water. I use coconut milk. And then uh, I use flaxseed because it recommends using hemp seeds, which I don't have on hand. Then we have a half inch of raw uh, ginger and then a half inch of turmeric and um, all you do for this stick it on kind of like that and hit extract and it should be hands-free
right, there we go. You can see the extract blade turned off. I'm sure if you were listening to that, that is very loud. That is extremely loud. Um, but we'll see how it blended. That was my first time using this container. It looks pretty good. <clears throat> Definitely, I've used some personal blenders that would definitely struggle with blending something like raw ginger, raw turmeric, turmeric, even the kale can be difficult for some blenders. But this is a pretty high speed blender. And um, for especially for only a 32 ounce container, it's more than enough power. So we're going to test this out. I'm just going to pour some through a strainer, see what's left. Pretty good. It does have some chunks in it. If you just saw that, that was raw carrot. So there are just some minor stuff. I'm gonna pour it on a plate again and see how it looks consistency wise. You know, it, it looks pretty good. Just testing it out for a second. It's got a little bit of grittiness in it and it's probably hard to see in the video but all in all that's quite good just a tiny bit of grittiness so i'd say it does pretty well um i i, I think i kind of like the traditional blade design of it um with the older nutribullet blenders um, especially with the ability to do dry ingredients with the milling blade and the older extractor blade but it blended pretty well. You can see how high powered it was for that small of a cup. So that's that. We're, uh, next, we're going to actually, I'm going to try milling just some raw flaxseed with this new blade design just to see what it does, even though it says not to do dry ingredients. I'm curious to see how it performs. So we'll come right back. As I just mentioned at the end of the last recipe, I wanted to see how this new blade design does with milling uh, grains. Even though it says in the instruction manual to not do dry ingredients, I'm gonna give it a try. I have never done this dry ingredients with this blade, so we're gonna give it a try. You can see this is the new blade design that comes with the Nutribullet combo. This is a traditional blade design that comes with the older Nutribullet bullet blenders. Um, I have multiple blades, so I already have it on that one. This is the most popular Nutribullet model. That's the Nutribullet 900 Pro. I stuck about, oh, about a half a cup of raw flaxseed in each of them, so. I just made a mistake by stopping it by twisting it off. I'm so used to doing that, but normally you should hit the button to stop it. So. Let's just quickly see how this blade did. You know, it did pretty well. Let's see if it feels warm at all. No, it feels real good. So you'd probably be all right using this blade with that if you just did it a little bit. This is a traditional blade. Pour a little bit in the plate over here. Yeah, it's just... Just slightly finer, but overall, I'd say both blades do pretty well. So overall, final thoughts on the Nutribullet combo after doing the multiple blending tests we did with both the large pitcher and the smaller uh, cups and trying to dry, grind some flaxseed, did some other tests off camera. I think it does pretty well. Um, one thing I forgot to mention that might be a little annoying for some people, but it does have these sticky feet on the bottom to keep it from moving around. You can see when it was doing the high speeds that the blender could move a little bit because it's not that heavy compared to some of the high speed blenders. So I think it is a useful feature, but it's something to just keep in mind. Um, other than that, I, I think it did pretty well. I really like the performance of the pitcher. I think it blended quite well considering some of the ingredients that we tested. Um, it can do raw ingredients and make soups. It can't blend to the speed of a Vitamix, so it can't make hot soups from cold ingredients. You would have to take the ingredients and pour them into a saucepan and heat it up that way but uh overall it's, it's a convenient blender with a combination of the personal blender cups and the full-size blender i'd say the only negative on the nutribullet combo 
is probably the fact that you're not supposed to do dry ingredients with these cups, which is something that some people might want to do. And uh, especially if you're going to be doing like nut butters, you're going to have to add oils to do the nut butters versus more powerful blenders. You can do it without any oils and keep it raw. So um, it's a convenient blender, especially if you're a frequent smoothie user. It does quite well. It's quite easy to use and pretty hands off when you hit the extract button to blend. So uh, I, I give it a good rating.